I am heartbroken. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to um whatever this channel is at this point. <laughs> I know it's not much, but hey. Uh also, I know that I have been gone entirely too long and I apologize for that. I do plan to go over where I've been, just kind of explain what, why I haven't been uploading in general because even though I don't, I know I don't need to go into it, I kind of want to, at least just like enough for you guys to like kind of get the idea of why I haven't been posting. As you'll come to find out, this year has been a lot for me in a lot of different ways. Just a ton of unexpected change really is the main idea of it <laughs> and adjusting to all of it. As you can see, I'm back home and it wasn't really intentional, but the day that I'm filming this today for me is New Year's Eve. And with everything that's happened, in the past year it's given me a lot of insight and just I've had a lot of time to reflect basically while this year has been very overwhelming extremely overwhelming <laughs> just like too much at sometimes um, I want to at least be able to say that I ended it on a good note so today I'm going ice skating and I'm going by myself. Could I have maybe set it up to where I went with friends or something? Yeah, I even would have gone with my mom, but she's working today. <sighs> but yeah, we are going, we are going ice skating <laughs> because I love ice skating and I think maybe I'll be a little better since, as you know, I've been roller skating, but we can only hope. <laughs> One reason that I'm opting to go um, by myself is because another thing that I want to head into the new year, just keeping in mind is I want to be more confident. <laughs> That's a good word, but also just not ashamed. So ashamed of myself, like just for existing in public space. The simplest way to put it is, I have very bad social anxiety. That's one of the things, but also my self-image has not always been the best. It's been actually very bad <laughs> at points. Um, and I feel like that adds to it, but for the most part, even when like I feel like I look good, I still get so nervous just like socially, like talking, like interactions, even just being around people and while yes, it I this still happens when I'm with people, like with friends, um, I would say it's the worst when I'm alone. And it has gotten better to some extent, but it's still very much a thing that I deal with. So of course, filming in public is a whole nother monster. <laughs> it's gone so long. Um, these are I don't think I've ever filmed with my bangs. I had bangs. Have I filmed with bangs? I don't know. They're curtain bangs now. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's time to get dressed. <laughs> I got them literally like $25. Can you believe it? I mean. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I will see you guys at the ice skating rink. When I tell you, I <laughs> am so disappointed. <laughs> I literally like don't even- I have to come up with like something. 
I mean, I was going to paint later, but like, what? Then you know what though? This is a perfect represent. This is a perfect metaphor for what this year has been for me. <laughs> Let me stop before I get way too into it. So, <laughs> being that our original plan didn't work, I decided let's go see some Christmas lights because there's this park um, in my hometown. Well, I guess, yeah, it is technically part of my hometown. And every year, I don't know how long they've been doing this. Let's just say every year <laughs> for the dramatics of it. Um, they've set up a bunch of Christmas lights. It's like a miniature fair, there's food and just like, I don't know, people usually take their kids, but, or like their dates, whatever. But you know what? Let's go see some Christmas lights. Cause I was going to go with my mom and it just never worked out and I realized today is the last day to come see the lights it's till like 10 30 it's like 7 something right now but I figure I might as well make the most of the situation obviously it didn't turn out how I originally uh wanted to but honestly this sounds kind of fun too I can get some really cool shots in here and I don't know we're just gonna have a good time so I'll see you then It is ridiculous how humid it is out here. I feel like a farmer. So I'm like the only person wearing jeans besides dads. <laughs> recognize it but that's where I skated in the last video I posted baby trees hey you guys it's voiceover me <laughs> I just wanted to touch on a few things, as I said I would in the beginning of this video. I hadn't realized it's really been six whole months since the last time I posted, and again, I'm sorry. But I have to say this year hasn't, or last year, was not an easy one for me. In the past couple months, unpredictable would probably cover it the best. I decided to take a gap year from college um, with the intention of attending another university different from the one I did my freshman year. Um, and I actually moved into an apartment uh, near this university this past August. In addition, I also still intend on changing majors this coming fall. Um, for reference, I was a communications major my freshman year. But, as you likely assumed by now, things did not turn out the way I expected them to, in the slightest. I discovered that I couldn't attend the school I planned to. And, there's no really easy way to segue into this, but something that I have yet to mention, and that I don't plan to go into a ton of detail about just because it's really personal, um, is that in October of this past year, my dad passed away. 
I'll be honest and say we had a very complicated and distant relationship, but nonetheless it was awful and I'm still learning to cope with this. But with everything that occurred, in December I made the hard decision of coming back home. And what made it hard was that I wasn't just leaving the school I'd began to idolize, but I was moving away from someone that, considering the craziness of this year, or that year, was probably the only reason I didn't completely lose it. This year, and every year after, um, but especially this one, I want to focus on healing, growing, and getting to know myself better than I ever gave myself the chance to in the past. Because if 2021 taught me anything, it's that at the end of the day, I have to know how to be there for myself, even when everything goes wrong. I want to learn to love myself so I can be there, not only for myself, but for those people in my life that I love even more than I can describe. So, with all that being said, Happy New Year. Let's make it a good one. <laughs>